It's the Mixed Martial Arts Hour with... The Mixed Martial Arts Hour is back in your life on this Saturday, February 3rd, 2024. Yes, a special breaking news edition of the program. We don't usually do this on a Saturday afternoon, but this episode warrants it. So yesterday afternoon, we found out that the highly anticipated heavyweight unification bout between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk scheduled for February 17th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, unfortunately postponed due to a cut suffered in training on the uh, on the uh, top of the right eye of one Tyson Fury. Obviously, massive news, a lot of questions regarding what happens now and where all the particulars go from here. And so without further ado, let us say hello to the particulars. Let's go to Saudi Arabia and Spain. First, we say hello to Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, being joined by Mr. Turkey Al Sheikh. There they are. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And we also say hello over in Spain to Mr. Alexander Usyk, the WBA, IBF, and WBO champion. He's also joined uh, by his manager, Igas Klimas. Thank you so much uh, to the both of you for joining us. So, uh, Tyson, could we start we have with you? Here also, we have here also Spencer. Come, Spencer. How you doing? Sh Hello, Spencer. How we doing? Hey, there he is, Spencer. Nice of you to join us. Appreciate Thank it very you. much. Uh, obviously, let's try to go in chronological order if we can. Uh, Tyson, I'll start with you. Uh, could you tell us when you suffered the cut and what exactly happened? It was yesterday morning, sparring. I arranged to spar 12 rounds with four different guys. In round five, I got an elbow in the eye. A split eye, and obviously I've been to the hospital and had 11 stitches. Um, they have the medical reports, they have everything. Uh, have a look at the eye. There you go. Right across the eye. Lovely. Nothing much anybody can do about getting a cut in sparring. Shit happens. I've never had one before. First time for everything. Uh, there was some footage that was released. Uh, people think that that is the incident. Is that the actual incident, the one that we saw online that was circulated? I think so, yeah. I'm not sure it what was, you've yeah, seen online, the one. but yes, that's was the, the one. footage. I, I, okay. have, I have a special camera in his camp to see it each day, the training of him, and it's happened. I want to tell you something, brother. If it's something I am doesn't guarantee 100%, it, if this is 1% thought, I will not be here with you in the program and put my re reputation and my name. If I am not sure it is accident and it is huge cut, I will not be here in this meeting. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, I'll ask you, Alexander, what was your reaction when you found out about the news? My reaction, uh, just smile. Why just smile? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm training. You know, after my sparring, uh, my team told me what uh, Tyson Fury uh, put uh, cat, uh, uh, cat, 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 yeah. But I, I just smile and go to training uh, that. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Klimas, I'd be remiss if I don't ask you, you uh, appear to have said some very strong words regarding the cut. I, I believe you. Um, are obviously very upset, but you referred to Tyson as a coward for the cut. Clearly, we see the cut, and it seems like it was a mistake. Can you elaborate on your feelings um, that you uh, that you disseminated to the media yesterday? Maybe when you want to get cut, you, you, you're going to get cut. Who, me? No, 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 that wasn't the question. The question is, uh, why would you call him a coward if it was cut? That was all. That's the question. Yes. Because he didn't want to fight with you. He's scared. Why would I not want to fight for the biggest payday in my life and put 10 weeks in a training camp? Why? Why would I not want to fight? That's why you didn't want to fight him last time. That's why you wanted to fight him. No, no you pulled out. He pulled out last time. He pulled we, out last look, time. Look, we, we're running. We, we, we don't go, we're not going to run a after piece you. Of shit is never to fight in we're your not life. Gonna you're run after calling you. me a coward, champ. you rat bastard. Champ, champ. Barely, me barely. Talk about, Eddie, Eddie, I want to talk something. Please. Uh, something important. This fight I want, I want it to happen. I delayed my health issue 
in New York in hospitals now into the beginning of March for this fight. I need to go to the hospitals. It is my health. If I think Tyson is scared from this fight, I will not waste my time. The cut happened. Happened before between Foreman and Muhammad Ali. For that, the most important things for the fans. Correct. I put something clear now for all the two magnificent champions for the fight of the century. We have a de delayed time. The last call we can deliver this fight, and I choose the day. It is the 18th of May. We delayed it for the 18th of May. I am, I am guarantee for the both of the fighters, 10 millions if someone escape from the fight. This is the first thing. And the second thing, I guarantee big fight in the same night for the another one. And make the people around the world and the fans know if someone is scared or want to escape from this fight. 18 of May, we will have Tyson, Ozik, Ozik Tyson. If someone scared, if Ozik scared, I will call for Joshua Tyson. If Tyson scared, I will, I will go, I will call for any fighters Ozik want. And it is my in my name this thing. And we have the Balanti from the both sides. And they know it now. Thank you. I don't want to talk. I don't want them to fight in front of me and the, in front of, of the fans. This is happening in boxing. But to make it sure, the 18, we will have the answer. If someone is covered or all the both fighters come in the ring and have the most fight waiting for all generation the fight of century. It is in their field now, and let's see. Okay, so to recap, the new date for the fight is the 18th of May in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So it will be finally Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. And I'm assuming, uh, Team Usyk, that you guys have agreed to this date, yes? We yeah. on that date. Yes. Okay, and Tyson, you have agreed to this? Yes. Yes, yes. I've agreed to that. Okay, I want to do something, and this is secret. Tyson doesn't want me to tell it. He wants to fight in the 17, even with the cut. And I said, I am not crazy to put you in the, in the ring with this cut. It will be circle, not fight. And even if he doesn't be ready in the 18th of, uh, of May, he will play because I will accept it because we have deadline with the, the IBF and I don't want headache with the IBF. We have a contract. We have the dead time until the 18. We will deliver this fight in the 18 or deliver big fight if someone quit from it. Okay. And you've also said that uh, if someone pulls out of the fight, the other fighter will get $10 million, which is obviously very significant as well. Uh, there was some talk that, uh, you 10 know, million, Philip not from us. We guarantee it. 10 million from their own money. From their own money. Okay. And understood. Yeah. And second things I want to tell you now, because they will say, what about Hergovic? I give. I was to just going to ask about Hergovic. Option. Yes. I, I give him option to play in the undercard of the 8th of March, and now I call him for six names. Choose one of them if they the both accept. We want them in the 8th of March. Hergovic, Dubois, Hergovic, Bicoli, Hergovic, Sanchez, Her Hergovic, Miller, Hergovic, Cabayel, Hergovic, Gerard Anderson. If both of them accept, we are ready to deliver, deliver to the market and the fans the fight in the 8th of March. We are not playing. We are not playing. If I have 1% one per, one percent thought he's cheating, I will not see it here. I know this guy from his side, and I know Ozik from his heart. They both want this fight and want the fans to see it. But it's happened. Happened before and maybe happen in the future. And for that, we guarantee in the 18th of May, and this is the important thing, to have big fight. The fight of the century or another fight. Let's see. 
Okay, and could I ask you about the uh, February uh, 18th date, excuse me, 17th date, uh, what is going to happen with that card that on February 17th? We, we will delay it, the card. If they accept, we will delay it or the fighter in the same card of the 18 and upgrade it more also. We are okay, so talking now about one big fight more in the undercard. If so there will accept, be no event on they, the 17th. If they, have, it's... If, if they have mandatory, they must play. They will play, but not in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so there'll be no event on February 17th in Saudi Arabia as of right now. No, we are focusing now on the 8th of March, Nekat Chaos, and uh, it will be the end of the Riyadh season, the end of the week of Riyadh season, and after that, we were focusing in the fight of the century, Ring of Fire, Tyson, Ozik, Ozik, Tyson. And after that, we will focusing in big fight. We will announce it now in, in, in your show in the 1st of June, inshallah. Bavel and Aratur in the main event, Arthur. Yes. Yeah. And in the same card, the card between Frank and Eddie, the five card. Right. right. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of information. I appreciate that. Tyson, can I ask you, I, I read um, on uh, on social media and also on your wife's Instagram that she said that she was left shaking after she saw the cut above your eye. Could I just ask how you were feeling and, and how difficult it was for you to make the call to, uh, to withdraw from this fight, or at least to deliver the news? I understand that you say that you wanted to fight, but to deliver the news that you had been cut. Obviously, I was very disappointed. I've been in training camp for a long time. I've been away from my family, been in Saudi Arabia five weeks already training. Uh, everything was going fantastic. And I'm very disappointed. Obviously, it's uh, I caught that uh, you can't help. These things happen in camp sometimes. And unfortunately, it's happened to me. It was uh, disappointing for me, disappointing for everybody. I know His Excellency has spent a lot of money on a promotion and everything else. So... There's nothing much that anybody can do. It's God's will. It, it, is, it is the most important for us. It is your health. We don't care about the money. And I offer now for Tyson and Ozik to cover their, their new camp. I asked Tyson to go to Switzerland. There is a good, good doctor there. And he said to me, no, he want, he have his, his idea to continue this camp. I never see him in shape before like this today. Is perfect shape, but this is the luck. This is the luck, and this is happening in boxing. And in the same time, I offer to Ozik to cover also everything about his camp to be ready to this big fight. And I have another for another fighter. I heard in the media about David. He said to me, "Send to me two Ferrari to play in Saudi Arabia." I said to him. We will send you two gloves if you want to play in Saudi Arabia. That's it. Okay. And who is this? Who, who are you referring to? David. Tank, Tank Davis. Oh, okay. Gervonta uh, Davis. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and could I ask you, uh, Alexander, um, obviously you were hoping to have this fight uh, late last year. And now, you know, you have to wait a little. Are you at peace with everything? Or was there a part of you that was pushing to stay on this February 17th card and fight someone else? Are you okay with how everything has shaken out here? Um, Нет, я готов боксировать за абсолюта в любое время дня и ночи, дорогой мой. Now I am uh, I am ready to fight and I wanted to fight for undisputed anytime anywhere. Okay. Uh Tyson, I I saw a photo of you. You look to be in tremendous shape and then of course some people were saying it was an old photo. I don't it, it looked new. It looked like you look right now. Is that in fact how you look right now and could you tell us uh how much you were weighing when the cut happened? I'm in fantastic shape. I've been training really hard. I've been on a great diet. Um, I was ready to rock and roll. It's an old photograph. It's a new photograph. It's, uh, I'm in very good shape. Okay. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Ozik. Thank you, Ozik and Igus, to understand the situation. We give him... Hey. We give... I... 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 appreciate this from you. I appreciate it and 
It is my word to deliver in the 18th of May big fight. The, for the fight of the century or if someone quit for the, another one, big fight. Okay. And uh, Mr. Al Sheikh, can you tell us what is the other big fight that you're going to add to that uh, card that you were, you were hinting at? <laughs> We are thinking now, we have time, and I, 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 it is deleting my map, what is one in my mind, but we will have big fight in the card of the 18th of, of May more, and we will have in the Riyadh season four Tyson and four Rizik more and more fights, and we will deliver the rematch, inshallah, in Riyadh season also. Okay, and and did you say Dmitry Bivol versus uh, Artur Berbiev? Is that a done deal for June first? First, first of June, this is the main event, and five fight between Eddie Camp and Frank Camp. They will choose, then and it, it they will choose, and each one will know doesn't know the fighters until we decide it. It will be something new. Okay. Uh, in, in a way, Tyson, is this a blessing in disguise for you? A little bit more time because it was a quick turnaround after the Francis fight? No, I, it's not a blessing in disguise, but I take God's will as it comes. I was in fantastic shape, ready to fight. I was 100% confident I was going to knock Usak out. Um, there was no doubts in my mind. I was 100% ready. Okay. And uh, for Mr. Al Sheikh, uh, could I just ask, now is the winner of Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou still going to be in line to fight the winner of this fight? I will tell you a secret in my mind. What is in my mind? If, if Ngannou win, you know he will have rematch against the champion. If Joshua win, in the way of the winner of Tyson and uh, Ozik, it will be long time because they will have rematch. We are thinking and discussing with Joshua Cam and Hergovic Cam to maybe have a fight between them. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, uh, Alexander, so here you are. You got the news uh, May 18th. It is going to go down. Are you going to go back home? What, what is your plan uh, you know, now you were so close to the... Uh... Before before it, brother. Okay. We yes. guarantee for Ozik, and he have my word for two big fights more. Okay. I don't know if this is the first you hear of this, uh, Alexander. I will do training. Okay. You will just keep training? Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, is there anything in conclusion that you would like to say? I don't want to keep you guys too long. I know it's not... It's been a very stressful time for everyone. Is there anything in conclusion that you would like to, to say to Tyson? He understands us. He understands us. Eddie, he I just, I, he said, yeah, he said that I just want to... And he knows to talk to... English. He knows to talk English. I know. I... <laughs> Yeah, but he said that he wanted to wish to to Tyson a fast recovery and make sure God bless everything is going to be okay in his camp. Okay, and Igas, do you feel? Thank do you, you feel? Alexander. Appreciate yeah. it. But Igas, never call me a coward again. I've had thirty-five professional fights. I've been boxing eighteen years of my life. I've climbed off the canvas ten times of the biggest punches in history to win. Never a coward. Never back down from any man in my life. And if any man calls my wife a bitch, I take his fucking teeth out. Do you I didn't call me? your wife a bitch. I didn't okay. call your wife a bitch. I, I don't do. Bitch I, don't, I, don't do that. I don't do that shit. I don't do that shit. Well, well, I'll apologize hey, for that, man. Because I shit, focus on about my wife, happens. and I'm no shit fucking happens. coward. I boxed all my life. Shit happens. Shit happens, How brother. Can you call me a then coward? You... You've never boxed in your life. How am I a coward? I did. I've had 35 professional fights. I'm a two-time undefeated heavyweight champion. I'm the second longest reigning lineal champion in history. How am I a coward? Let's see the answer. Let's, let's see the coward. No, 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 let's see the answer in the 18th of May. We will I, have I, I, the prize of... May 18th is going to be finito. <laughs> I, I do, I do. You're all going to be working for me as dossers. 
you ugly little bastard. See you. Uh, I, 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 you. I do want to ask. Thank you. you get knocked out. Thank you. Thank you. Igis, would you like to apologize for your words in conclusion, or do you still feel the same? I feel still the same. Okay. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Igas. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Turkey Al Sheikh. Good luck to you guys. I appreciate the time very much. There they thank go. You. Uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, wow, uh, that was uh, intense, explosive, and fascinating. And so, to recap, and appreciate everyone who is joining us live or watching this after the fact, uh, we now know for sure that the February 17th undisputed unification heavyweight title fight between one Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury is not happening. It was scheduled for February 17th in Riyadh, a great card uh, underneath it that was built with several promoters involved, Queensberry, Matchroom, etc. Uh, it is no longer happening. The card isn't happening. It sounds like everyone who was scheduled to compete on that card will have the opportunity to be moved to the new date. But if there are mandatories involved, they'll have to deal with those deadlines. The new date May 18th, back in Riyadh, back in Saudi Arabia. Hopefully this time, once and for all, we will get it. Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, a fight that we have been talking about for years now. And we have had dates thrown around and all kinds of stops and starts. Hopefully we finally get it. Uh, we also found out that there is an opportunity for Philip Hergovich, who is the mandatory challenger, the IBF, to compete on the March 8th card. That's the one headlined by Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. Uh, Mr. Turkey Al Sheikh also said that uh, there is an opportunity to add another big fight to this new date on May 18th, right underneath the co main event, or dare I say, the chief support to the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk card, May 18th. Oh, by the way, June 1st, he also dropped the news, Turkey Al Sheikh did, that we will be getting Dmitry Bivol versus Arda Beterbiev, a fight that we have been looking forward to and talking about for some five or so years. Of course, we just saw Arda Beterbiev in Quebec City in mid-January. We saw Dimitri Bivol compete on the December 23rd Day of Reckoning card. We also know that in late June, the UFC will be making their debut in Saudi Arabia. We also know that there'll be the Bellator PFL card on February 24th in Saudi Arabia as well. Did you get all of that? Did you get all of that? That's a lot. There's a lot going on in combat sports, but it's a fascinating time. Uh, in a matter of moments on DAZN, Conor Ben will be making his Las Vegas debut. Do check that out. Also, UFC back at the Apex this evening. As for me and my crew, we'll be back at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. in the UK for our regular time. Uh, but we whipped this together due to the breaking news nature of it all. I do want to thank Tyson Fury Mr. Turkey Al Sheikh and his whole team, uh, Mr. Alexander Usyk and his manager for stopping by on this Saturday afternoon slash evening. That was riveting stuff. And now we know the answer to the question. As first reported on this year program, May 18th, Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Finally, wish Tyson Fury well. Thank you to everyone who helped behind the scenes put this together on very short notice. Appreciate you all very, very much. We are out of time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the fights this evening. Back on Monday, same time and place. Until then, I say peace. I'm out of here.